Hello my sumo peeps. Um, I'm here for a quick tutorial. Um, I've had, uh, had a couple of friends off of sumo, whoops, and um, a couple of people private message me on sumo. How do you use the selection tools? Um, so I'll do a quick one. I'm not going to do a great job, but I'll show you how to use this and then I'll leave this picture for you to mess with. So anyway, take our image. Okay, I always like to extend it. That just makes it easier. Now let's say you want to pull that apple um, or do something with that. Let's make more apples. How's that? What we want to do is really kind of zoom in on this apple so it's easier to make a selection. And we take our selection tool, which is this lasso tool. But I like to use this poly, poly blah blah, the polygamo lasso tool. It works good for me. And this is something, I usually do this in Photoshop because Photoshop has a quick selection tool, which makes everything much easier. But with this tool, literally all you have to do is push on one part and draw a line. And that line's going to be straight, so you're going to have to take your time and kind of go around the image, um, just kind of like that, so that you're. I'm going to not do it so carefully um, because I don't want to have a 10-hour video. But when I'm doing this, Photoshop didn't used to have the quick selection tool. In fact, um, I had GIMP before I had Photoshop, and I used something very much like this. And you just, if you take your time, if you really make these about oh, a third of what I'm doing, you can really get some accurate um, cutouts. So I could actually remove this apple from the picture, or you'll see, I'll, what I'll do is I'll add more, and we'll kind of um, clone this apple, but we're not actually going to clone it. Maybe I will do clone tool on another tutorial. And uh, <laughs> I actually don't know why I call these tutorials, because I am learning the same as everybody else, but I figure I might as well share the things that I do know, because I find tutorials very helpful when I need to learn something. too quiet? Probably. Okay, so we've made our selection. You can see just from the lines here that they're kind of a little jaggedy, and um, obviously it's because I didn't take my time, but no matter what you do, you're going to end up with lines that are a little bit like that. So what you want to do is go select, excuse me, I'm kind of burping, I just had a turkey burger, um, feather. And it's automatically going to really feather it out for you. You don't want it to be that much. So I just take it down to one or two pixels usually. Eh, maybe two. push OK. And now what we do, say we want to make another apple. Edit, copy, okay, now watch this. Edit, paste. Ooh, nothing, huh? Well, look at this. If I take away that back layer, there's another apple. And again here, if I take my time, this apple will be a lot nicer looking, but that's the way things go. So let's say we wanted to, I'm going to go ahead and shrink this down again to 100%. Let's say I have two apples on this plate. Oops, wrong selection. Ta-da! And we can kind of we can mess it up a little bit, make it look a little bit different than the other apple. Maybe make it a little bit flatter, and we could even change the color. Adjustments, hue and saturation. Let's go for a. Yeah, what do you think, red or green? I say green. Okay, and it sort of looks like it's just floating there, so I'm going to add a drop shadow. Layer effects, drop shadow, and let's give it a little distance here. Let me fuzz it out a bit, and that makes it look a little bit more natural. So there you have it. Another thing you could do too is, let's say we wanted to remove that apple. Well, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna get into that on another um, another tutorial. I'll do the clone tool. But again, if we wanted to have another apple on here, we just say duplicate layer, move tool, move this guy. If we transform, let's make him look a little different again. Let's actually take the, the warpy tool. And kind of give him a little bit of a sideways tilt, put him a little forward, copy this layer effect. paste layer effect. And there you have it. I mean, that's pretty much it. So what you should do is I'll leave this picture open for you. You're welcome to practice on it. Um, as you get better at it, you can choose harder to do things, which that's kind of what I'm trying to do, like a, oh, uh, uh, leaves and things like that, which a lot, with a lot of ins and outs. But um, anyway, that's, that's how you do it. And uh, maybe next time we'll do a clone tool. So 
Peace out, my sumo peeps. Bye-bye.